Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new boss sim. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking more about the calculator. And I'm going to do a brief description of each of the button click handlers for all the buttons here. Um, so let's go, get, go ahead and get started. And if you don't know what we're talking about, then move back a couple, couple tutorials and you'll see what it is. Now, in the last tutorial, before we left, I told you to do the it's button subtract sub for yourself now if you did it that's great and if not I'm gonna do a little brief description of what it is now it's very similar to the ad in fact almost identical but instead of using is adding we created a new global boolean called is subtracting and we set that equal to false we did this for each one of them too is subtracting is multiplying is dividing and is modulus but we didn't do it for pi so then we'll just declare answer and then we'll call our subtract function and we will convert these to our data types that we need and then we just set the text and we set it to read only and we change is subtracting and then we did else if is subtracting then and we did all this right in here now we did the same thing for each of the other ones for button divide we just use the divide function instead and created a new boolean called is dividing same thing for multiply and modulus but in pi we did this a little bit different we they only need one number when they're doing it by pi so all we did is if text on one dot text dot length does not equal zero then we're gonna call the pi function and we'll just send it text on one dot text and we set the answer to the answer dot to string and we set text sum two dot text to pi so we did string dot format zero and three math dot pi so what this is going to do is it's going to give us a decimal number that is three decimal places long and we set we set text sum two dot read only equal to true now here's all of our functions that do our math for us and down in the revert bool sub I just went ahead and set all of the other booleans equal to false and this is called when they click the clear button. Now let's go ahead and add one more thing before we uh, finish the program. So let's go ahead and make this fit a little bit better. We're going to come over here to our toolbox and we will add a tooltip. So we will set the name of this to TL tip pi. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to form1.vb and we will find our pi sub or the sub that handles the um, button pi click. Now what we could do is show that tooltip when they click it but instead we want to do it when they hover their mouse over it. So come over here and find pi. We'll click the lightning bolt and we'll come over here to mouse hover so whenever they hover their mouse over it what do we want to do so we'll do tooltip pi and then we'll add dot so tooltip pi dot set tooltip now this takes two arguments our control and our caption so what our control is going to be is button pi so our tooltip is going to be connected to button pi and we'll set the caption to only one value is needed in the first value field. Okay, so now that we've set our tooltip, we've connected it to our button and set the caption for it, we can go ahead and run this. And you can see when they hover their mouse over pi, it's going to say only one value is needed in the first value field. And if we type 23, and do pi it gives us it fills it in with 3.142 which is the value of pi and it gives us our answer now let's just go ahead and format that answer so we'll come up here we will find pi so button pi and we will set this to string dot format and we will format it to three decimal places. So zero, 
colon n3 close that off and instead of converting answer to a string we'll just go ahead and get rid of the dot to string so now if we run this we're going to add first number and it'll say only one value is needed in the first value field we click it and it gives us second numbers 3.142 and the answer is the answer and it's been formatted to three decimal places so you can go ahead and add other stuff to this calculator if you want make it better um, give it more functionality if you want a challenge and uh, if you do go ahead and leave a, vid a video response and uh, I'll check it out and see what it's like so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial